Walking around the Jewish quarter of the Old City, you'll find history in every single corner. But when history and the human experience combine, that's what interests me the most. And that's what drew me to the artist, Udi Marias. His family was one of the original families to live in the now Jewish quarter after the Six-Day War in 1967. I'm the first boy here after the War of 1967. Uh, so this is truly my home. I'm going in. In this area, if you look at the most common tree, it would be like an uh, olive tree. That's it. So I presume I'm like an olive tree. I mean, I'm not a eucalyptus that you can find in Australia or whatever, or cactus that you find in the desert. I'm what's growing on here. I'm not, uh, even in my way of painting, you don't see me painting pop art or uh, Andy Wall painted uh, Marlene Monroe. And other. That's fine. He, he was right. When Andy Wall opened his window, he saw Coca-Cola signs. That's the most, it's true landscape, but that's not for me. I'm open the window, who I see? I see kids going to school, I see Arabs, I see Jews, I see Christians, I see Muslims, I see, oh, that's what I see. So that's my true landscape. And among them, I'm drawing them. So I'm painting them, but I'm also part of it. It's not that I'm outsider that painting something. I'm part of it, yet I'm there in my paintings. Uh, the seventh day on Shabbat, I don't paint. I can tell that I'm waiting. I'm counting the hours to paint again. When I joined the army, or just before, somebody heard, I was by then already from Jerusalem. I'm from Petah Tikva, this little town, and he said to my friend, in my kindergarten, there was one boy who knew how to paint very well, and they uh, said the name, and yes, he remembered me from the kindergarten. We haven't met since just being a painter, so I presume it's going back to the age of three or four, yes. I do feel uh, that uh, when somebody comes and you judge him, the word judge is not even correct, but you accept him as a human, not as a rich, not as an American. You asked me before about what kind of artwork foreigner takes. There's nothing like me as a foreigner. It's not exist. None of them is aliens, they are human. They're coming here, each one is unique, you accept him, you find what, how you can relate, how you can reach to him, and that's what it's all about. Sometimes you exchange artwork and money, but I think that's, a, that's an extra, and, uh, and this is probably the way the Lord wants to provide me. God give each one of us a gift. Sometimes, for some reason, we don't ready to accept this gift. If we don't like it, we wish he would give us a different gift. So let's say as an artist, he gave me certain talent, certain abilities, and I can use it to paint. If I'm not happy with what I have, I'll start to paint like somebody else. You're losing, not only that you're not using your gift, you're losing it and you uh, think that the grass at your neighbor's is green. He got a better gift. It's a jealousy, etc. I don't think so. I think one should uh, appreciate the gift that God gave him, thinks it knows it is unique. Each, if they ever take our finger uh, print, none of us is the same. So why should our talent be the same? With knowing full well that it's temporary. I was given this, I will, I'm going to have to return it. So for the short time that I have it, what would I do with it? In my case, I enjoy it. Through my paintings, I can communicate with people, be with them, and uh, be part of their life.